Greetings, beautiful people. Oh, let me go up a little bit. That's a better. Greetings, great day. I hope you're well. Today I am focused on sharing a message about vision. Now, what I'm learning is that God has a way of working on me. It's like, I mean, I know I'm a vessel. I am very clear about that. However, oh, that's a light. That's a little bright. However, I'm also clear that, again, showing up and sharing is kind of my assignment right now. And that's the difficult part because a lot of times I don't want to share. <laughs> I just want to go through, get through. Ooh, my skin is so glowy. Thank you, Father. Um, I just want to go through and get through and then kind of share after the fact, like, like most people do. Um, but I'm realizing that that's not my assignment. I have to share while I'm going through. And I am going through some things. So this is not comfortable for me. I don't care how it may look. It's not comfortable for me. But vision. I have literally been wrestling with thoughts in my mind. And for me, that says, well, maybe you are too. Maybe there's someone who's wrestling with what they should be doing this year. It's still the top of the year. And having vision is basically having foresight to see how you want to leave an impression on this earth once you're gone. My vision is to live in a world where every black woman leader, professional and entrepreneur has a net worth of at least $100,000 so that she can take advantage of any opportunity to serve herself, her family, and her community. Now that is important to me because as a young black woman, I find that one, I had a net worth of a quarter of a million dollars <laughs> at one point in time. And I no longer have that net worth, so I've been through some things. On top of that, so that's a whole nother, whole nother, nother, right? On top of that, I find that the things that were most important to me in terms of values were myself, then my family, and then my community. Now, at any given time, you may be focused on any level of those circles, right? Yourself, your family, your community. And, and so I'm like, well, I'm a leader, I'm a professional, I'm an entrepreneur. And at any given time, I may show up in any one of those roles, depending on the hat that I'm wearing. So that's me. That's my vision for myself, right? But I know there's others. I know there are women who care about themselves and their well-being, who also care about their families, obviously, because we're caretakers, we're breadwinners, and we're wealth builders. So we are the ones who are doing, right? We are leading our households in those ways. We're caring for our children. We're caring for our parents. Some of us are in that, ser that sandwich generation. You may be caring for a niece or nephew who you adopted or who's living with you, an aunt and uncle. We are caretakers, but then we're also breadwinners. We out here getting it. We work, we start in businesses, right? Like we are getting this money. <laughs> and it is our goal to then translate that into wealth. We want to build. We want to have things that we've never seen before. We want to have things that we can leave that no one left us. And even if something was left to us, we want to leave more than what was left to us, right? So we're out here building wealth to the best that we know how to do it. So I'm like, all right, that's that's who I am. I'm a caretaker. I'm a, I'm a breadwinner. I'm a wealth builder. I know there are others like me, right? So I hone in on who I am through who I serve and who I know are out there, right? I know there's other black women who feel like me. Hey, Monique, thank you, sis, who, who are showing up like me. And I don't know about y'all, but where I am in my journey is I have been challenged. I am being challenged 
every single day, and I mean every single day, with not only my words, but my leadership, my vision, my patience, like all the things I ask for, I am being tested in those ways. How graceful I am, how much grace I extend, how much grace I give myself with my own wisdom. Am I using wisdom? Am I being wise? Am I making wise decisions? In my patience, am I being patient or am I being quick? Am I am I like not slowing down with my faith? Am I activating it? Am I worrying? Worry is the opposite of faith. So technically, if you have faith, you should never worry. That's tough, right? And you got to check that when you realize it. And then a woman of wealth. So no, you don't have the million dollars yet, Dominique. Are you operating like you have the million dollars? Everything is being... Now, those are, again, the five things I ask for, to be a woman of grace, wisdom, patience, wealth, and um, faith. So, for me, I'm getting that. I'm realizing he's taking me through things. He's testing me through things so I can develop these five things. Man, it don't feel good. <laughs> It don't feel good. And and now I'm at a space where my vision is being tested. And the word said that. Thank you, Father. I got to find it. The word says your vision will be tested. If it's real, it will be tested. And so where I'm at now, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I am a full-time entrepreneur. I make money based on my ideas. Thank you, Father. I have an idea and I work on it and then I bring it to the world and then people pay me for it. Thank you, Father. That is so powerful. I just said a word to myself. Thank you, Father, because I need to be affirmed. I'm not confident right now. My confidence is a little low. I'm not too sure about this next idea that I have. And I thought, man, I'm just about to go get a job. <laughs> I thought that. This morning, I start working on my resume. And let me tell you, even the job I'm considering, I still might do it because there's a skill set I want to learn. And then the vision came to me. And I said, well, Father, what if, what if that's how I'm supposed to do it right now? Right? What if I'm supposed to pivot and do that? They're not mutually exclusive. And so, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with going in and out of entrepreneurship. I, I've done it. I do that, especially as I'm listening and I'm I'm seeking something bigger. I am clearly seeking something bigger. I'm kind of bored with what I've been doing in my business the way I've been doing it. And so what's coming up for me is Dominique, you already know the vision doesn't change. So I ask you, what is your vision? What is it that you're supposed to be doing to leave an impression on this earth? If you don't have that, then seek your vision. I have my vision. What's coming up for me, though, is the mission. My how. How do I begin to fulfill that vision? I know how it looked in 2020. I know how it looked in 2021. I know what I did in 2022. And now in 2023, it's not feeling like it's supposed to look like it did in 2022. And I'm quite ready to shed it. I'm quite ready to let go of how I did things, which is a great sign. But guess what? Now I feel confused. So now I'm like, okay, I cannot sleep. I didn't sleep over the weekend. I didn't sleep last night, literally up for hours because my mind won't shut off. Truly wrestling, right? Like Gabriel did with the angel, like, like, or was Gabriel the angel? You know the story. Wrestling at night with my own mind. Every thought, I had it. Counting sheep, I did it. <laughs> Two melatonin didn't work. That's how I know this is bigger than me. This is how God gets at me. He's like, I need you to focus in right now. So what am I about to do? I am 
about to stop one portion of my business. And I have been thinking about it and like I set all this stuff up to do it. And now I'm like, I don't even think I want to do that. I'm feeling like I should be still. And when I was still in 2021 and I came into 2022 and I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? He revealed it to me. So again, I know how God get at me. I have to get still. In order to get still, I have to let go. So what are some things that you may need to let go of in order to get the revelation about what you should be doing? And some of those things that I let go of in 2021, they made money. And I was going to do them again. And I was like, no, <laughs> there is a new thing. So similarly, it may be successful, but here's the key. This is where the difference between good and right come into place. Because we can do good things all day long. Is it the right thing? I believe God's hand is on the right thing. He will allow you to do good things and have success with a lot of good things. I want God's hand on the right thing I'm supposed to be doing, not good things. And guess what? I also believe that for those of us who are already doing like good stuff, right? The devil know how to get at us through good stuff. It could become a distraction. Like, okay, this is good. I'm doing good. Like in this area, that area, this area, that area. But are you doing the right things? Don't busy yourself with a lot of good things. Because then you're too distracted to focus on the right thing, right? And that's where we got to learn to focus in on one thing. Especially as black women, we multitask like nobody's business. As black men, we, or well, y'all, have a lot of things going through your mind. If we can just quiet ourselves to one thing at a time and truly let go let go of all the other things then you seek the kingdom seek his understanding seek his righteousness tell him to help you figure it out what should i be think what should i be doing in the next hour those be my prayers like what should i focus on what what task am i going to do in the next 30 minutes that's going to lead me to where i should be that helps us to trust. That helps us to just kind of let go. And once you make a decision, that's sometimes the hardest part. Get clear about how you're supposed to show up in this earth. Because remember, we're supposed to be making earth as it is in heaven. Right? If heaven is everything and like no bad stuff, that's what we're supposed to be doing here on earth. So what is your gift or talent to contribute to that? How do you want to change people's lives through your talent, gifts, interest, skill, expertise, competency? How do you bring all of that together to be like, this is how I transform people. And that's the impression that I'm going to leave on this earth. That's your vision. Your mission is how you get to it. That's right, Monique. Yeah, we, it, I think a lot of us are in that season where it's like, got to let go of some things, free myself up. Just like you said, it's time. I mean, it's so simple, too. When I free up, it's like I just don't have so much to do. I don't have so much to worry about. My to do list gets smaller, <laughs> literally. Right. And so I am literally giving up one part of my business I want to focus on this next idea that I want to build out I'm going to focus on the black women's investment club I'm going to focus on choose wealth um, a woman's wealth incubator something I've never seen before I'm going to focus on the current contracts that I do have through my business which I have I have three, but I only work two, really. So I'm going to focus on those two. And then I'm going to focus on 
this Black Women's Spa Day. And that still sounds like a lot. <laughs> oh, still a lot. That's so wild. You're like, I'm just going to focus on one thing. And then you're like, that's four things right there. And they're all aligned. Every last one of those things contributes to my vision to live in a world where every black woman leader, professional, and entrepreneur has a net worth of at least $100,000 so that she could take advantage of any opportunity to serve herself, her family, and her community. Every last one of those things that I mentioned contribute to me fulfilling my vision. The Black Women's Investment Club does that. Choose Wealth, a woman's wealth incubator does that. My current contracts do that because they're really powering me. <laughs> That's how I get paid. And then, and they're developing my skill. Both of them are developing my skill and I'm learning things that I didn't know through both of those contracts. So they're expanding me, making me a better leader and professional and entrepreneur, honestly. And then lastly, the Black Women's Spa Day. That, that for me is all about self. That's how I incorporate the wellness into the wealth, right? Because we have got to be well. And right now my mental has been so challenged. So wellness is super important all the time. It can't be an afterthought. It has to be it has to be a forethought. It has to be equal to all of the other things. Because if I'm not well, what I am noticing is when I'm not well, I don't treat others well. I don't. I don't treat others well when I'm not well. And so and my son, he's the front line. So he'll catch that before anybody. And I don't want that for him. And as a mother, I'm always getting better and I don't feel like I'm the best mom I can be, so there's opportunity for me to be better. Well, that means I gotta get better, right? And so, and then I'm teaching him. I'm teaching him how to care for himself, right? I'm teaching him how to prioritize. I'm teaching him how to treat others. We are their first teachers. So there's just so much we manage. If we can begin to simplify how we show up, I think that does something. And so that's what I'm wrestling with. What to let go of, what to focus on, and the only things I want to manage. They're becoming more and more clear. They're becoming more and more clear and they're all aligned. They are my mission now. Each one of those four areas that I mentioned are my missions. I show up in those ways to enact my vision. So I encourage you today to focus on that. I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes doing an exercise that I ask my wealth mentor because I secured a wealth mentor. Thank you, Father. You know, back to that really quickly. I went live and I, I suggested that we stop saying we don't need people, right? And that we reach out to people who we already know to ask them to be supportive in some way in our lives. And I didn't even realize that I had done that the week before. And I asked my best friend, yet again, another best friend, who is excellent at what she does and loves to do it, to support me with the Black Women's Spa Day. And she agreed. And we had our first meeting last, well, this past Saturday. And so, again, I told myself, I vowed that I wouldn't do any other idea without support. And so that's one of my boundaries for myself. You can't start anything if you're starting it alone. So put a boundary in place. Give yourself a standard so that you're doing things differently. You're showing up differently. You're going outside of your comfort zone. You're asking for help. We don't do well with asking for help. We have got to do better with asking for help. We are not meant to go it alone. And then this goes back to also hiring a professional. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out. If you need to hire a professional to help you get to the next step, 
do that. Do it anyway. Go back and watch that one if you haven't watched it. Do it anyway. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for this, then that. Do it anyway. What is the next immediate step to help you get out of your own way so that you can be a vehicle to be used and if you allow yourself to be the vehicle, he will start giving you things to test you with. He wants to build our trust. Why would he do business with us with a vision if he can't trust us with the vision? So he's going to give us tests. He's going to test our vision. He's going to test us, which is where the discipline comes in, right? Because you got to have discipline to work out your vision. You do. It dis Vision requires discipline. It is work. And you can't be spread too thin. So again, knowing when to, 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 to rein in, knowing what to get rid of, knowing what to center yourself around. Like me, my focus really true is on like getting to bed by really by nine now things like that those small actions they add up and they lend themselves to everything else we try to do so I wake up at five that's been going well but now my goal is 4 30 because I realize just how productive I am when I'm up early and no one else is around bothering me there's no calls or emails if I could get up at 4.30 in the morning, that would be ideal. So now, but in order to do that, I've got to get to bed on time, which means my day has to be very structured, which then brings what? Discipline, because I am not wasting time. Every minute matters. I am about my father's business. You can't distract me from my father's business. He is entrusting me with this vision and I am going to prove it out because what my vision brings provision. So if I am where I'm supposed to be in the line, my money is going to flow. I will not need money because I will have more than enough of it. You follow everything in divine order. So if we can get our if we get clear on what we're supposed to be doing and you don't even have to be clear, you just need the next step. Ask for the next step. And then you spend your time properly and you're resting and you're cutting out things that you can not have to do right now. Like I love watching ratchet shows. I do. It's it's I they make me laugh. It is my escape. And I'm learning I should just wait till the weekend because after I'm done with my day and it's like 8 30 30 minutes I can't even finish a whole show <laughs> so then it's gonna be finished like if I because I DVR it all or on demand it all so I'm gonna take that hour now it's 9 30 if I start watching it at 8 30 and my bedtime is supposed to be 9 right so I should keep my own word to myself and get to bed at nine I could wait to the weekend to watch my ratchet show which is really when I love to watch it because <laughs> I don't have nothing else I don't work on the weekends except for when I want to but like it's not necessary I had to create that boundary so then I could spend time with you year and give him the quality time like everything has to shift everything so your vision will bring the resources they, I'm a full-time entrepreneur and I have been for a few years now and I go in and out but my vision I create ideas and then I bring it to the world and people pay me for it and that's how I've been making a living I want to make more so I want to get more clear on my vision so I'm shedding now I'm, I'm walking away from this offer or that service and I'm gonna just focus in on like one or two things in the business and then these the, the total of four things that I've got going so you do the same cut some things out I'm about to journal on um, the visions and, and, and kind of visually you know web it out just see see what I'm seeking so I can have more focus and um, I'm looking forward to showing up tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. It comes to me between now and then. So thank you, Father. Go out and have a great day. Be a king.
Think like a king, act like a king, manage like a king, be a king. Peace.